we don't we don't have uh, anything for number. Uh, okay, the next one is twenty nine. Twenty nine, and I've already given you all that proposal. Um, and basically, it was to not change anything with the preemption. We had a long discussion about MOUs and amendments and all that, Mark, last time. You already discussed, I guess. In a nutshell, MOUs are an interpretation, uh, an understanding of what's there, but the only thing that can become part of the contract is an amendment. There's an amendment process. So really, it's incumbent upon us, we think we need to reopen that we need to make an amendment, we follow down that pathway instead of just depending on an interpretation. I, I think an MOU can lead to something, but it isn't of itself substance. And, and they're tied to the agreement, so when you get a new agreement, the old ones go away. That's what we're doing now, right? So Never work its way. Okay. You're saying instead of signing the MOUs, we just open the contract every time we agree to discuss an article? Oh, well, make sure it's no. worth it. No, we wouldn't suggest doing no. that. Uh, we do an amendment. What we are saying is that the only way you do to, to, to a vote. vote. Yeah, but you have to change the contract. Change. But you do you the want contract, every single amendment. thing to go to a vote for the members every time? Well, that's part of your provisions of, let's see, that's part of one of your provisions that, that we'll let y'all figure out if y'all want to let your, uh, the problem is we have to follow the procedure for amendments, which says we give it to you for a vote. Y'all have provisions in your contract that said you don't have to submit it to the members. That right. Your union Which president can sign an amendment uh -huh. on its own. We and the advice that I received on that was when we were going to get the extra holiday. <clears throat> Craig Deeds said that yes, the union president can sign an MOU for anything. Just an make sure it doesn't end your amendment. career. <laughs> but not an amendment. But in your so contract. What's the that's what we're trying to explain. Okay, well, an MOU, imagine this, that an MOU is to to your contract what, what is uh, kind of a court decision is in, in terms of translate what the what the law means, like a Supreme Court decision. But an amendment is just very much like a constitutional amendment. That's a process where it becomes part of the Constitution. And in this case, if you want to amend your agreement, you have to go through. A, we have to go through a process that's that's contra uh, very much like establishing a contract. So, uh, how often you want to do that is is really up to y'all. Uh, it looks like you have some latitude of what you do need to take uh, in for a vote or not. But you understand, we we don't have the latitude. We don't have the power and ability to to say MOUs can become part of the contract without going through an actual grafting process, we want to call it that, uh, into the agreement. Yeah, see, like, I would never have done, like, the, the EMS merger. I would have done it, well, you know, something like that. That's a little bit drastic. Uh, but, the, like, the holidays, it, it benefited everybody in our department. Mm -hmm. It had no negative effect on anybody. We can sign them all you on that, according to our attorney, and add that to the contract. And, that, and that's how you have it written in here, right. but it doesn't create our ability to do that. It creates your ability to do that. I think it's just right, so like if we did that and then say it was something good for the whole department, for us, yeah. I could sign it and then give it to you and then you take the counsel and have them approve it and do all that, right? I mean, what is the difference? Well, I don't it's not clear well, legally that we can bargain with just the president. We have to bargain with the entity. You see, I mean, this... So that part is unclear and always has been. Mark, you can write down on a cocktail napkin whatever idea that you have, and I can take that to the council. And we could create a policy with the city or our department or, or what have you. That doesn't make it a part of the contract. It means that you and I work to collaborate to create a policy, but that's not the same as, as, as uh, amending the contract. And you and I can do that all day long, any day, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I'm happy to I'm happy to take any idea that any employee has to the council and see if we need a policy modification. That's completely out here. But this this is very specific when we get into this contract, and we need to follow the, the recipe. There's two separate things going on because an MOU simply if, if 
we didn't think about something ahead of time when we wrote and there needs to be, oh, well, the way we wanted to do that was this. That's a clarification. If we're gonna change what we're doing or change part of it, that's supposed to be an amendment, which means the city's supposed to re-bargain that, which means it goes to the same process as this, which has to go through. And those are the rules that we have to abide by. Your union can bargain it away and say they're gonna allow you to do it, but that kind of puts us in a bind. But so, and I guess what Mark was saying is, so if we have something that we feel like is an MOU, and we just go back to the table. We open it up. We can open it up as long as both sides agree any time of the year. If we agree it's an MOU, then we'll yeah, write an if MOU. We agree if, it's something if it's an do. amendment, then... No, I'm saying that right. what we thought was an MOU on anything. If something comes up that you feel is an amendment, then we just call another bargain meeting and come to the table. 